Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we've seen some examples, the equations will actually begin to make sense. If you these, see these equations before you see any examples, you probably will have no clue what they actually signify. So let's go through them and get a feel for them. So let's say that we're given a function of the variables x, y, and z, and a curve that can be defined by the parametric equations where x is a function of t, y is a function of t, and z is a function of t, so that all three of the variables, x, y, and z, can be expressed in terms of an other variable, a parametric variable, through parametric equations, let's say t, and then t will have some limits of integration from a to b. So if we can somehow express x, y, and z in terms of t, and then know what the limits of t are, then what we can do, we can take our line integral like this, and convert it to a function which now, instead of writing a function of x, y, and z, we write a f the same function, but now in terms of t, instead of x, y, and z. And then the ds, the small change from one point of the, of the curve to another point of the curve, can now be expressed in terms of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared plus dz dt squared. Basically, Pythagorean theorem of a small change in space in three dimensions times dt. We can also express this in vector format. Now, we haven't seen any examples yet. We will in the near future. We'll show you some examples in the vector format. But we can actually express this in terms of a vector relative to the origin in terms of t. So this becomes, again, the function of t in the i direction, the function in t in the j direction, and the function in terms of t in the k direction for x, y, and z. And then the line integral can be expressed in terms of a function of the vector times the absolute value of the derivative of the vector times dt. And if, for example, dx and dy are equal to zero, then ds will simply become dz, and then the function can be described as follows. So this will be the function expressed in terms of the t variable, the parametric equations for x, y, and z, and then the derivative of z, basically dz dt times dt. And then basically, this can then be converted to dz, because that's the only thing that will be changing. So now, hopefully, these equations, when you see them, will actually make sense to you. And we'll show you some additional examples of how to do line integrals using both ways of doing so. So stay tuned, and we'll have some more examples for you.